Hey you right team, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna to be talking about what's ruining you from having a good, successful phase one training and assessment center. For those who don't know me, I'm Craig. I'm a servant soldier in a household cavalry regiment. And if you wanna see loads of videos on how to improve your fitness, how to succeed in the assessment center or phase one, then subscribe, turn the notifications bell on to stay updated with my videos. Stop ruining your chances of having a successful assessment center and a good uh, 14 weeks, 36 weeks, whatever it is, um, phase one training, whether you're going through Purbright, Winchester, Catterick, or Harrogate, right? You're ruining it. Prepare yourself. So many people are underprepared. I see it all over Instagram. I see messages. People are worried that they're not gonna succeed um, at the assessment center. They're like, I start the assessment center in three to four weeks. How can I improve my run time? How can I improve my med ball throw? How can I improve my mid five pool ready for the assessment center, whether that's a 2K run or beat test? Prepare better. A lot of you message um, or tell me, or I see it over Instagram, the army or the military, whether it's the RAF or Navy, is the only thing you've ever wanted to do. Uh, you finally get your application in, you get your assessment center date, and then you leave it to the last minute to train. Why have you not been training before? You should be training before your application, you should be training as soon as your application goes in, and you should be training well before you get your assessment center to be prepared, right? Four weeks is not enough time. Remember, the assessment center is your interview, it's your initial interview to say, am I good enough to join the military, right? So they're gonna assess you all the way through, whether it's just a day one or two um, day one, depending, um, obviously, because of COVID. They are assessing you all the way through, and the physical part is a big part of it. So make sure you're prepared. Some of you might say, I don't know how to prepare. Well, if you don't know how to prepare, message someone like myself or other coaches on Instagram, and we're always happy to help. Um, but if you really are struck, uh, stuck, then get a coach, pay for someone to help you. Like, there's no harm in paying for someone to help you. If you don't understand and you really want to join the military, then get a coach, they can help you. Like, Something I've come to realize in life is pay for things that you don't fully understand because there's someone out there that can do it so much better than you. So give them your money, um, not really like just give them your money, but pay them, get their experience, their knowledge, take as much from them as possible. And then when you're happy, just say, look, I've learned enough now, I'm ready to move on. They'll be like, okay, cool, I'm glad I've taught you. I'm glad you're better. Good luck in life with what you do, keep us posted. Right? If you're struggling with the run, get out running whether that's long, slow duration runs, and make sure you incorporate them. You want to incorporate intervals, um, you know, do a 2K run here and there to assess where you're at. Make sure you practice the beat test because the beat test, a lot of people fail is on the turns because they, they're not turning efficiently, so they're losing a lot of times. Um, they haven't got the power to set, accelerate again or the strength. So make sure you practice that. If you want to improve your mid-five pull, then get start deadlifting, do rack pulls, do exercises that are gonna strengthen your legs, your lower back. Mid uh, the med ball throw, press ups, uh, bench press, actually get a ball, invest in a, in a med ball, or get to a gym that's got some and actually practice the throw, practice the movement. Right? Stop under preparing yourself, get, get prepared, okay, and turn up to the assessment center well prepared. And this is the same for phase one. When you pass the assessment center, don't just drop off. Don't just stop training. Continue to train, because you want to turn up to phase one and do the best possible. Little tip, okay, the biggest tip I can give you is the fitter you are in the army, the easier life and your career will be. Trust me, the fitter you are, the easier your career will be. Turn up for phase one prepared. So many people practice and train for the assessment center, pass the assess assessment center and dial off. No, you've only passed the minimum requirements to get in the army. You don't have to do more assessments when you get into phase one in the first week. You don't have to do more assessments to leave. So the better, better prepared you turn up, the easier those assessments will be at the beginning, the less you've got to worry about to be able to pass out at the end. Stop being lazy, right, and just get it done. 
if you really want to join the army like a lot of people tell me then you will you will get out and train right stop making the mistake of unpreparing four weeks is not enough try and get a 12 week plan in place start from there see how you do over 12 weeks maybe 10 weeks and then go on from there do another 12 week block give yourself as much time as possible okay hope you enjoyed this video let us know what you want to see next and i'll see you soon